Eat. They're crispy, I hear Eat it. Eat one. I don't know. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Jenna's channel. Hello guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. It is officially January 2021. So today we are back in the kitchen and we are going to be doing I think I'm gonna call it a new segment called Cooking with Andy. Cooking with Andy, that's So me. we're here cooking with Andy today. And today we are gonna be recreating three of our restaurant favorites in an air fryer at home. So a little bit healthier and convenient. New year, get all, new me, getting healthy. You get it all in the convenience of your own kitchen. So the three things we're gonna be making, sweet potato fries, we're gonna make buffalo cauliflower wings, and we're gonna be doing pickle chips. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, first you need a knife and a potato. Make a sweet potato fries. What we're gonna do, we're gonna chop it up in whatever technique you want, and we'll go from there. Okay, so now we got them all kind of the same size. This one's a little bigger, but probably fine. We're going to just uh, make our french fries. We'll soak them in water for a little bit and then rinse them. Okay, now that we got them rinsed off, uh, we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on it and salt and pepper. It's the first time making them, so we're gonna keep it real simple with the seasonings. Drizzle some of that on there. Salt. 390 for about five to eight minutes, and we'll come back. Have an update sizzling in there. Okay, the potatoes are done. They look pretty good. Did like five minutes on one side, flipped them for another seven to get a little bit of both sides, so we'll take them out. They're kind of mushy. A little mushy. Maybe they should probably go on a drying rack. That would be better. Let's do that. Right, okay. We're going to try these potatoes. They're kind of floppy. Hot. They're not very crispy. What do you think? It's hot. Mm. It's They're kind of mushy. Look at that flop. Kind of hot. Mm. I oh, wouldn't make. Right. I wouldn't make them again. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe if we did them differently. I don't know. Instead of just cutting them and throwing them in the thing, maybe you gotta like switch it up. Okay. Now we're gonna move on to the buffalo cauliflower. Why those um, French fries are cooking up? I pre-chopped the cauliflower. Oh my god, it smells. I pre-chopped the cauliflower. Um, and. It's been super simple, the recipe I found online. Basically, you just melt some butter, you throw in some hot sauce, you mix the cauliflower in that stuff, and then you just put it in some breadcrumbs, popping in the air fryer, and call it a day. You're supposed to use panko, Italian breadcrumbs will do. All right, so. We are not sponsored. <laughs> no, we're not. All right, I'm gonna melt up all this stuff and make the mixture. Okay, we got the butter melted. What are you putting in now? Hot sauce. Similar to baking. If you guys noticed the trend when I did that, I don't measure in cooking either. I don't think in cooking though, you really have to measure, do you? Isn't it kind of just like... I don't think you really have to in cooking, but you do in baking. Well, Remember we found that out because my cookies were way better? <laughs> so an update on that, Put guys. some more in there. I, I will. An update on the whole cookie thing. So it turns out Andrew's were better, I'll say. You know, like in the video, I was kind of like, oh, you know, they're both kind of good. These were way better. So maybe in baking I should measure. I'll say it now and I'll probably never say it again. Yes. Okay, that's okay. probably good. I don't want them too spicy and if they're not spicy enough, you just drizzle some on top. So this is you're supposed to just kind of like throw these in this butter hot sauce mixture. Like I said, I looked up a recipe and then you just kind of put them in some breadcrumbs. They are sticking. And then pop them on a thing. And they're gonna go in the air fryer. All right, guys. So we're gonna load up the cauliflower into the thingy that goes into the air fryer basket. I guess this is a basket. Got some big ones. I got some small ones. So I want to make sure I put a variety in here because I'm curious to know if the small ones like will cook better. I would think, but 
I don't know how these things work. We're new to the air fryer world. This was a Christmas gift. So it's not like we've been cooking with this thing for a while now. So this is a great way to test things out. So yeah, put all these in here. And then I'm going to put it in there for about 12 minutes, flip it halfway through, and then we will taste them when they come out. So see you soon. Alrighty, buffalo cauliflower taste test. It looks real crispy. I'm going to dip it in a little bit of extra buffalo for a little bit of taste. Some blue cheese. Mmm. 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 They're really crispy. A little, the breading kind of comes off in your mouth, but I would definitely make these again over those fries that were mushy. I agree. And not very good. So, buffalo cauliflower passes the test of the Pretty air good. fryer. They're good. We're going to finish these. Okay, on to the final recipe, pickle chips. Um, these I'm excited to make because it's not something I order often at restaurants because not a lot of restaurants have them, but yeah. So I'm doing bread and butter pickle chips and they say you're supposed to like dry out the moisture so they don't get soggy, which makes perfect sense. So I'm gonna stick them on a paper towel. I'm not making a ton because Andrew's not a huge pickle guy. So um, these are mainly gonna be my snack, but so I'm just gonna lay a few out here, really dab them dry with a paper towel and then move on to the coating step. All right, so now we're gonna submerge all the pickles in this little batter mixture. Just kinda shove them in there. They don't really stick very well to it. It's too thick again. You think so? I don't know, but. We'll just, we'll just do that and see. I think this is gonna be messy for the air fryer, but we'll see. I'm not the pickle professional over here. So, I don't know. On to the pickles, the last one. These pickles, we'll see. Um, the recipe I found is supposed to be a copy of Texas Roadhouses. So we'll see if they actually come out like that. I'll load these up and then put it to 400 and then you're supposed to cook them for 15 minutes. So 10 and then flip them and then five more minutes. All right, last one, the pickle chips. And I will say, I think these turned out the best. The whole batter thing, um, Looks a lot more appetizing than when yeah. we did the breading. I and think it, the batter is what... It doesn't look like... Do the cauliflower in those. That's an, that's an idea. All right, let's try one. They seem crispy. Look they're, at that. Look at that crisp. They're like crispy. You just saw me try to break it with my fork. Mmm. Deep. They're crispy, I hear Eat it. Eat one. I don't want one. Eat one. No. Eat one. So today's video... Um, those were tasty. Um, best definitely, I would say the cauliflower or the pickles. Better yet, put the better yet, the sweet potatoes were the worst by far. They were mushy. I don't know if there's too much oil on them. Just put them in the oven, or just don't even waste your time with the air fryer. Just shove them in the yeah. oven. They're Maybe frozen better. French fries would be like probably good in there, but like cut up, they were way, they're way better in the oven, so they're don't terrible. even waste your time with that. Um, the cauliflower was good. My only was good. It was too crumbly. Like in my crumbly. mouth, maybe I felt like I was crumbs. eating breadcrumbs. So maybe different. with the panko, like maybe it said different. it would do, like if I followed the recipe, it would be better. Or put this breading, just a regular flour breading on the bread. Oh. Or like a batter. Yeah, put batter. it in some yeah. batter and then fry them in there. Pickles, good. Overcooked. Pickles seem the best. Even Little done, anything. but like they were tasty. He refuses to eat them. But these are good. I will finish this whole plate. Um, but yeah, that's today's video. today's video. Let us know in the comments down below what you would like us to do for our next Cooking with Andy segment because I want to sprinkle these in every few weeks, every now and then. Just do some kitchen stuff with Andrew. So let us know down below and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. See you guys next week. Oh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs, big old up, thumbs up and subscribe. Like it. Okay, that's all.